What is going on, friends? Sean Dunn coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Terry Noise. No, yes. Terry Noise. Um, yeah. Uh, just before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in a technical analysis or coaching of any kind, go check out my website, www.gripgrip.co. Check it out. Coaching options for as little as $15 a month if you're interested in in depth technical analysis, throws programming, lifting program, anything else you need, I can do. Even if you're into coaching consultations, you want to pick my brain, just chat with me and learn some things and how I would do things and how I would approach certain stuff. If you want to help me, or if you want me to help you solve your problems, all right, I'm here to help. Love that stuff. So, uh, yes, here we have Terry throwing the 14 pound hammer, 47 meters, Masters athlete. Let's, uh, honestly, looking at the first two turns, from what I saw before the video. I kind of like it a lot. And it's just that very last turn or two, things kind of go awry. Like really solid patience. Stability is really good. Yeah, man, this is, this is looking pretty solid. Uh, I think I did an analysis for you, I don't know how long ago, probably three, three years at this point, maybe four years, I uh, can't quite recall, but uh, this is looking pretty solid. Uh, facing the right in the lines, hips stable, turning back really nicely. Stable right heel, stable hips, stable left side, countering the hammer, flowing with it. I like this, reaching out really long to the left here. Sorry, to camera view left, your right. Reaching out really long to the right here. Stable left shoulder. Coming through entry. Very patient for the ball. I love this position. Your arm might be a little tight, but that's beside the point because there's a really nice movement here. Left side stable. Staying back on the right as the ball goes left. Left shoulder down. Super long and relaxed the upper body. Hips moving with the ball. This is really nice. Catching pretty decent, shoulders level, hips level, hips more or less underneath you, ball flat, catching. It looks like you work your hands down a little bit. Not a huge fan of that, but at the same time, it's not a detriment, I'd say. I don't know. We'll see as we go on, though. But that left heel grounds right there. Very stable, very patient. You can see the ball's almost ahead of you. At least your head is behind the ball, which is great. Level shoulders. Really good connection, solid connection here. Holding this left leg, left foot really close. That's really cool. Um, ball goes super long out to the left. Shoulder super long and relaxed. This is great. Hips are working up towards the ball. This is good. Side of the left foot, long and relaxed here. Then you can see this is where things go a little bit awry. Like I said, it starts to happen here. And you can see your right foot's very long and patient and relaxed here. Or sorry, not right foot. What am I saying? Your right foot's on the ground pretty long here. And then it just gets a little too passive, I think, in single support. As you can see, it kind of comes down long around the left ankle instead of kind of up over this left uh, calf, if you will. Um, let's see if we even go back. Uh, compared to the first turn, your left shoulder does go up a little bit here too. And I think that's kind of related where uh, if the left shoulder is a little bit higher, you're going to feel a little bit more tension through there. Um, your left leg is going to straighten you out a little bit. Or because the, ten the, the left shoulder is a little bit higher, uh, you're going to feel the tension higher in the body, which means you're not going to be as ground on this left leg. Whereas if this left side, left shoulder was down like it was in entry, you'd be a little bit lower. This left knee would be a little bit more towards the ground. And then this right foot would ground a little bit sooner. But as like I said, you can see this kind of comes down around the ankle. So if you're up over that calf and you're a little bit more active with that right foot in single support, it might help out. Perhaps, um, but really long and relaxed here through the upper body. Still, hips are more or less underneath you. Right hips underneath you, which is really what matters. You catch. Very patient. Great job waiting for the hammer. Love this position. Very squared up. Very solid here. Pretty good. And then you can see left shoulders level. Like I said, not really left shoulder up that much, but you can see it's like your hands because. Perhaps they would get worked down a little bit here. They're going to go up there. You see your hands are a little bit high here. The ball's starting to get on top of you. Um, and then your right leg, once again, is kind of lagging behind a little bit. Your hip is working up into the ball. 
Just got to be a little bit more active with this right foot kind of stepping into the next turn. As you can see, as the ball goes around, catching. This is what I'm talking about, where your left shoulder is a little bit lower here. Left knee is a little bit more down towards the ground, but I think you could be uh, have a little bit more hip flexion in this right, right hip, perhaps, in single support. And you catch flat facing the uh, sector, facing the ball. Hips could be underneath you a little bit more here. As you can see, there's just a slight forward tilt through the upper body. Catching flat, heel comes down, decent here. But then I think the problem here, this is where the, I think, I think this is turn three, going into the next turn. Yeah, so this, this movement here. I think you're just a little bit too antsy on this first catch, or not on this first catch, on this catch, sorry. Uh, it's late in the day for me. I'm not used to doing technical analyses this late, so my brain's a little, I should say my mouth is a little bit sluggish compared to my brain. Um, but yeah, I think on this catch, in this turn, your left heel grounds earlier, uh, and then you have the tendency to pull back a little bit more aggressively. And I think, like I said, it does kind of go back to posture a little bit too, where you catch. And then if your hips were more forwards underneath you, or if your chest was more over your hips, you'd have a little bit better stability. Where I think, because you don't have your hips underneath you, you're not quite fully connected with the hips. The shoulder's going to pull a little bit quick, a little soon. It's going to pull back pretty aggressively. And then you're going to lose that connection, the tension. You can see this right shoulder start to go down a little bit, left side start to go up towards the end of double support. You see this left side getting pulled up away. Like I said, the hammer's getting on top of your hands or above the head. That's uh, not the most ideal thing that you want. And then you can see with that, your right side is not quite as connected still. This is probably the most dramatic your right leg is, where it's kind of out away a little bit and, and not as tight to, like I said, that left calf or the left ankle even. But this left shoulder getting pulled up is kind of the big thing. And you can see with that, your left shoulder gets pulled up, you're going to come off the ground. Boom. Like just about there. Yep. So, left shoulder comes up, hand, or the ball's kind of pulling you up, the ball's on top of you. Catch. And like you're just doing anything you can to salvage it there at this point, because you had a really nice first three turns. You catch, you kind of gather yourself, tighten up your legs, tighten up your shoulders, tighten up your whole body, get your hips really up into the throw really nicely. But then it's um kind of this weird cross body finish where yeah, you're kind of stumbling over yourself a little bit. Um But the first three turns are really nice, and I think it goes back to maybe just setting posture a little bit better, making sure your hips are underneath you, your chest is up. Uh you you torso should be um, kind of rigid like a girder if you will you don't want it bending forward you want it kind of more or less straight up and down I'd say um, and uh, you want your hips underneath you that's kind of the big thing connecting the hips but otherwise like you're doing a really good job staying patient there first turn super patient you could maybe be back on the right leg a little bit more towards the end of this turn You do get pulled around just a little bit, and that's, I think, why the hips aren't underneath you like they need to be. Then stay back there. you got to stay back in this right leg a little bit longer. You do it better there, but then you still get pulled around a little bit. The throw goes on, same thing. Got to counter back. Got to push more through this left, uh, left quad, perhaps. Squeeze his right hamstring and uh, stay back on that right leg a little bit. And then, yeah, here's where it starts to happen, where it starts to happen. You can see your hands go up. And then you start to lose the hips and the, and the posture. And the hands go down a little bit and the hands go up more. Hips are working up into the ball, but then hips go out again back behind you. So you're losing the hips. Just got to keep the hips connected, keep your hips underneath you, focus on that posture. And then like I said, it's staying back on the right side a little bit, staying a little bit more patient. The whole right leg thing in single support isn't the biggest thing. Not a huge deal, but it's more so the posture and connecting the hips. That's what it really comes back to. So, um, yeah, Terry, I hope this helps. This is a really nice throw. Like I said, I, th I think it's it's really close. It's really close. Um, very solid. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. If anybody else out there would like a technical analysis, hit your boy up. Go to gripandrip.co, submit a video. Now's the time to do so if you want to make those technical changes to sets of PRs and drops of bombs later this season. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Sean Don signing off.